Welcome to Barak Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be doing a video presentation on the Pajero GLX. Now these particular models are a 20 model, uh, 20 build and a 20 model. So as you can see, we've got two here. We've got the graphite gray and we've got this stunning warm white, which is a slightly pearlescent finish, um, which if you actually put it side by side to the solid white, there's a significant difference between these two vehicles. This is actually quite a beautiful color um, and these stocks are quite limited and at these kinds of prices, you do not want to miss out on these great opportunities. So what this video will do is pretty much run through some of the differences between uh, or the advantages of what you get from going for the MY20 model, um, as well as some of the features that does come in the Pajero GLX. So take, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually run through this vehicle. Uh, we just have both to demonstrate the two different colors. So starting off on the front end of the Pajero, you've got that very iconic front bar. This uh, shape has not changed for the whole, uh, pretty much for the last 10 years. And you know, you don't want to change something that is already doing so well. So at the front of the car, you've got that chrome front grille with the Mitsubishi badging right in the middle. The beautiful big headlights, which are going to give you a really good dispersion of light. Got the uh, projector globes, high beam lights and indicator lamps fitted all into that one big headlight. These cars also come with the daytime running lamp through the bottom fitted right next to that fog lamp. It's got the beautiful chrome surrounds just to add a bit of detail, a bit of spice to the car, I should say. And being the MY20 model, they also get the headlight washers, which in the previous year, only the GLS model got. So whoever opts for the GLX now gets a little advantage of the headlight washers. As we come around the side of the car, you've got this uh, multi-spoke design rim. Um, it is a different design to what you would get in a GLS. So the GLX gets a standard alloy. Um, the rim itself is in excellent condition. Like I said, these are pretty much new vehicles, so I'm not going to touch on the condition. Um, and you've got those Dunlop all-terrain tires fitted onto them from factory. Taking a look at the side, you do get the side step fitted onto all the vehicles. So it is going to help you getting in and out of a vehicle of this height, especially if you're vertically challenged, like our manager Carlo, which I'm sure you'll meet. It's going to help you get in and out of the car. Being the GLX model, you do get the color match side mirrors and door handles. This is in the warm white color. Uh, indicator lamp is fitted into that side mirror and that is going to elevate the lamp and also clear up the quarter panel to make it look nice and neat and full. Taking a look at the windows. Now, one thing you will uh, notice is there is a lot of glass on the Pajero. That is a benefit and a disadvantage. The benefit being is that you have great visibility in a car like this. D um, disadvantage is you're uh, actually exposed to a lot of uh, sun, UV, radiation, and you can, the car can tend to get quite warm or quite cold, whatever it might be. So one thing I would highly recommend is you talk to us about a premium tint options because you're going to want to tint a car like this and you want a beautiful contrast between the black windows, the warm white paintwork, and also it's just going to keep everyone in the, ve in the vehicle nice and safe. Now these cars come with a remote key being a keyless entry vehicle. Uh, sorry, not keyless entry, but you do get a remote key. Uh, one feature, when you do actually lock the car, these are going to blink, but if you lock it three times, that is actually going to fold your side mirrors in. Um, so if you park on the side of the road and you want to protect your side mirrors, just triple click the lock or unlock button. Coming around, I'm just going to let the camera person crawl around this bush. Take a look inside the actual Pajero. Um, now you've got cloth, uh, cloth seats in this model. They're a very comfortable cloth seat, very soft fabric. Um, the stitching is quite fine as well, all the way through, so you, it's not a very noticeable stitching pattern. Um, manual seat adjusters, so you've got the height adjusters um, for the base, the lean at the, uh, of the backrest, and also that lever to actually move the seat forward and back. Interior-wise, they do come with fully carpet floors, so not your rubber floors. So if you do um, do plan on doing some forward driving or something, would recommend you look into some rubber floor mats. Got the Mitsubishi scuff plate there just to protect the paintwork on the inside of the door, especially when you climb in and out. You'll tend to notice a lot of people um, damage the paint on the inside of that door trim. So that is there to protect that. Um, door card is also in excellent condition as it is, like I said, a new vehicle, but very nicely presented door card. Closing that up, taking a look at the second row just so you can demonstrate uh, visualize what it looks like. The second row is a 60-40 split, meaning you've got these two seats combined and that one on its individual um, section. Now these seats will fold up. Um, again, they're cloth all the way through. On the back of that center console, you do also get uh, your AC adjusters for the rear, rear AC. There is another step there just to climb in and out of the car much easier and I will show you exactly how easy it is to actually fold these seats up. So just behind the seat, there is a lever. Pull that lever, that'll drop the seat and you can pull that right back up like so. So if you want to utilize the whole boot space in a car like this, um, especially with this kind of boot space, you've got so much room in the back, very easy to actually fold these seats up. To drop them down, you want to push this lever forward and then pull the seats 
Uh, if I can pull them down and then that will come right back up like so. Very easy to adjust. This is going to actually be uh, for the lean on the back so that you can adjust the kind of lean that you want on the back seats. Fuel cap is on the driver's side of the vehicle so very easy to access when you get in and out of the car. As we come across to the tailgate, now being the GLX model, actually the tailgate itself again is a very iconic look with that rear mounted uh, spare wheel. It is a full size spare wheel. It is hidden under that case. You can see it's sticking out just at the bottom. On the back of the car, you've got your Pajero badging, Mitsubishi badging, and your diesel injector badging at the bottom. You've got all your reflectors on that bottom bar, reflectors at the back, and that high mounted brake light just under that spoiler. Just behind the spoiler, you've got that rear wiper and washer um, system, which is gonna keep your back window nice and clean. Now, if you do plan on getting a tow bar fitted, which I'm gonna assume if you're buying a Pajero, you're probably gonna get one fitted, I would recommend you look into getting a spare wheel lift kit. That is actually gonna elevate, um, lift this up so that you have a better clearance underneath when you are putting your trailer or your camper van onto the car. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you, less fidgety, and less chance of damaging your new car. Uh, being the GLX, you don't, you don't get the reverse parking sensors, but you got the reverse camera mounted under that uh, little boot lip for you. Opening up the boot, if you do notice, this is actually a seven-seater vehicle. So one of the great advantages of going for the Pajero is the back seats or the third row seats actually fold under the floor. So if I was to show you how this can come back up, I'm just gonna um, put this over here for now, just cause the floor is a little bit wet. Um, you simply pull it up like so, and that is how easy it is to pull up the third row seats. And you can put that card back down uh, at the bottom. And underneath that compartment, there's storage. Um, if you want, you've got the two headrests. I'll just show you. Um, do you wanna come and have a look inside here? Sorry. Uh, you've got the two headrests and you've got all your jack and tools to actually jump the car up with your hydraulic uh, push over there. So extra storage. If you just want to use it as storage space, you can just put whatever you want into that and then put the cover over. Or I'll show you how easy it is to actually drop these down again like that and that will fold under like so under these two little locks you can actually unscrew the back seats if you want to pull them out completely use the whole boot space and that storage compartment underneath so it's a very versatile vehicle you've got roof fence at the back uh, for the third row passenger so they're not going to be stuck in the heat closing that up close this up as well pen wick on this side like i said pretty consistent you've got the graphite gray the warm white color and you just got a very beautiful vehicle in the Pajero in the sense that these are iconic cars um, and you know their potential because why would they have maintained the same shape and look if it wasn't working. Um, so what we're going to do now is actually pop the hood and take a look inside the car. Take a look inside the engine bay of the Pajero. Now what we have here is Mitsubishi's four-cylinder 3.2 litre turbo diesel motor. It's a very powerful motor. It does have a five-speed automatic gearbox fitted to the car. So that's going to give you nice long gears, great for towing, great for those long drives. And with the three-ton towing capacity on the Pajero, it's going to be a great car for you to um, keep for a very long time. Now this car is a five-star ANCAP rating with six airbags. So again, lots of safety for the passengers in the vehicle. This motor produces 141 kilowatts with 441 meters of torque so that 3.2 turbo diesel motor doing some good work for your towing um, this car is a diesel car as i mentioned it does have an 88 liter capacity fuel tank and that actually has a combined fuel consumption of 9.1 liters per hundred or an average fuel distance of about 967 kilometers off a full tank depending on the kind of driving you're doing and if you are towing something around right, now taking a look inside the pajero um, pretty nice on the inside i got to say very easy to access everything you could possibly need and everything is laid out actually quite obviously meaning that it's very easy to read the car so on the right hand side on your driver's side you've got your fully electric or automatic uh, power windows your dr rest of the windows are just your standard electric windows above that is your window lock and also your central locking button as well now on the right hand side of the dash I've got a few controls, so this little um, toggle system here is for your side mirrors. Um, so there is a button to actually fold them in and your adjusters over there and also your front and rear fog lamps. On the right indicate on the right hand stock is your left and right indicator, high beam light, and also your um, your headlight washers, which is just a little button at the end of the uh, trigger. On the left hand stock is your wipers and washers for both front and rear. The steering wheel is a very, very nice steering wheel. Um, on the right hand side are your cruise control um, paddles and on the left hand side are your media controls so volume mode and seek and down here these paddles are for your call reject and voice control for your bluetooth connectivity or for your phone connect down here 
here you've got a, a two, uh, one blank spot. So next to that is your stability control. And next to that is your auto high beam system. So being the MY20 model, the GLX now also gets the automatic high beam. Coming over to the entertainment system or the center console setup. So up the top here, there is a little display that is gonna show you a few bit of information like your outside temperature, elevation, barometer, um, fuel economy, average range, things like that. So if you're gonna be doing some long um, touring or cross country kind of drives, this is a good information for the driver. Below that, you do have a very nice touchscreen head unit. Um, this head unit does come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as your AM, FM radio and digital radio. Now, if I go over to the next page, one thing you will notice, it does have a GPS option. Now, that doesn't actually have inbuilt navigation. It just will display your longitude latitude. However, you do get the CarPlay in your app connect, which, you, which will um, bring up your maps if you wanted to use that. Below that, you have your climate control, so temperature and fan speed and all your mode options. There is a small storage compartment under this um, hidden lever and also a slot for your cards. Um, a rear diff lock button for the vehicle and also a 12 volt socket, not an actual cigarette lighter as we don't encourage people to smoke in the cars. Closing that up, you've got this very nice leather stitch gear shifter. Now if I bring that into reverse, you can see that really clear rear view camera that was mounted on the spare wheel. So if you get a tow bar fitted, you'll be able to see that quite clearly at the bottom there. If I bring that down into drive and actually flick it to the left, that is going to engage the sports shift system in the vehicle. So if you need a bit of extra control over the car, whether it be you going uphill or um, just through some different kind of terrain and you want a bit more control, you can just flick it over to the left or you can just leave it in drive and the car will decide everything for you. Next to that is your four-wheel drive super select system. Probably one of the best four-wheel drive select systems on the market at the moment. So this system has your two high, four high, four high center diff lock and four low center diff lock. So if you do plan a bit of four-wheel driving, this is a great system. You can actually flick into any one of your high settings going up to 100 kilometers per hour. If you're going to your low setting, obviously you probably want to be pulled over um, and same with your rear diff lock. You've got two cup holders and a manual handbrake and a very nice um, clot center console armrest which does um, slide out if you want that extra um, armrest space. That has two compartments, so an upper shelf compartment and a lower deeper compartment with an additional 12 volt input in there if you just wanted to add any extra charging ports or any other devices on the vehicle. Now, the USB ports for the actual car are found in the glove box. Just at the top here, you've got two USB inputs and an HDMI input if you wanted to add anything to the head unit. So very nice setup, very easy to access everything in the car. You've got your shade extenders, um, these extenders in the shade. So if I pull that across like so, if I unclip that, that is gonna provide you with that extra coverage where you can sometimes get that glare creeping through the gaps. So very thoughtful setup in these Pajeros. Lots of room, lots of space. Um, very versatile car and this car, this is a vehicle that could pretty much take you anywhere in the world. Down here near your foot, uh, footwells are um, some vents for your rear circulation, so for the passengers in the back and as I mentioned before, you've got your rear aircon controls just on the back of this unit, temperature and fan speed and you've got your vents up near the head uh, of the passengers. I'll get the camera person to pan up there, so just over there and set, it's located the same on the third row for the passengers at the back. So what we're going to do now is actually jump outside and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on these 2020 MY20 Pajeros. Now, a Pajero GLX, I've got to say. Now, if you did have any additional questions in regards to these vehicles, actually wanted to test drive one of these or purchase it without coming in, you can do that. Now, the number to dial is 99070555. Just before I go, I would love to uh, open up the option for you to take advantage of the Platinum One program. Now, what that will offer you as a buyer is five years additional protection, like for like new car warranty on these vehicles. And it's also gonna cover you up to 200,000 kilometers. And it comes with the added benefit of 10 years Platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So, if you're gonna be using this car for long distance driving, four wheel driving, touring, camping, whatever it might be, this service plan has a great value to you because it is gonna cover you Australia wide. In addition to that, one thing I would highly recommend is you talk to us about our glass coat and tint. Now we have a beautiful package for you which is gonna incorporate the glass coat or the paint protection for the car. Now what that will offer you as a buyer is a lifetime guarantee on your paintwork. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain and it's gonna protect the paintwork from contaminants like your bird droppings, bat droppings, fading, oxidization, things like that. And as I mentioned, it's gonna package it in with some nice premium level tint for you to make sure that all the passengers are also safe for the longevity of your ownership of this vehicle. Now, 
These two things are at an additional cost. However, if you're using our in-house finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just how minimal these will really affect your repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, jump on a Google and search up Beric Mitsubishi and see what people have to say about us. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan and I thank you so much for watching.